Alrighty, it is a new trend that is taking over the world of yoga, a little something being called goat yoga. And it is exactly how it sounds, a yoga class where goats join in on the fun. Yeah, it's popping up at cities across the country, catching fire on social media, while a bed and breakfast near Richmond has caught on offering weekend goat yoga classes in the great outdoors. So we got to, to attend one of their classes this week after taking the class. If you ever thought about taking one, well, we highly recommend it. Take a look. He's centered, yet he's ready to party. The name of the game today is Goat Yoga. Goat Yoga, where did the idea for this come from, ladies? It actually started in Oregon, okay. and uh, a lady So began marijuana it. began this maybe, thing. Maybe then so. what it was, somebody <laughs> was hiring a kite, and they said, you know what would make this yoga session work? I don't know. Some goats. She called it therapy. She called it goat therapy. <laughs> okay. And it was very successful, and it's just kind of taken off thanks to social media. Just allow yourself to notice what you notice. Goats. So what's been the response? Yeah. What have they said? Oh, um, they've talked about how getting back to nature and having the goats is almost like, they've used words like therapy, mm -hmm. healing. Um, some have had losses before they came. And so there was something healing about holding a baby goat while doing yoga. So these are some of the expressions of of uh, folks that have come. And as you notice the breath, if it's cool with you, with your eyes open, take your right hand and put it on the outside of your left knee. We saw it on social media and kind of tossed it back and forth and decided we would give it a try. The first one we did uh, as a fundraiser, a total fundraiser for Heifer International. So then we said, well, maybe this will catch on. And so um, the, the last two we've sold out at 75 people a piece. So, wow. 75 people. Oh, my gosh. So this field is filled with people for this. The circle is pretty full, yeah. 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 Oh, my yeah. gosh. So you feel yourself rooting into the earth, rising up into your shoulders. And then let your head go so that you relax your neck. And then when your neck feels really, really relaxed, keep breathing. Well, sometimes as adults, we don't play enough. So it kind of right. brings out the child in us. And there's something about animals that just does that. Namaste. <laughs> we had so much fun. That, I'm telling you, that place is a little bit of heaven. It's so beautiful. Oh, that my gosh. And breakfast of the Blue Heron. It's it was gorgeous. gorgeous. Yeah. And then... I found it amazingly relaxing, even though we, you know, they did kind of an abbreviated class for us being outside and with the guy. I thought it was awesome. I loved it. It I, sounds super you, weird. You're a yogi. I'm a yogi. I am not. Shocking. I can't relax unless I'm punching a guy. Hmm. Same. All righty. The next goat yoga class at Blue Hair and Bed and Breakfast in Richmond is tomorrow morning, Saturday, August 19th at 10 a.m. The class is taught by yoga instructor Cindy Reed. She's good. She was so good. It is $20 a person and space sells out fast. As you heard, they said they have as many as 75 people for these classes. Cindy must have told me she loved me a thousand times. She Head did. to the Blue Hair and Bed and Breakfast Facebook page for tickets and more information. Now stay with us. Coming up, a look at all the fun weekend events going on in the area in today's Bluegrass Buzz. We'll be right back with more live with Lee and Haley after this.